Greetings, I'm Norma Schott. I'm the historian for the town of Deer Park, and we are standing in the 1863 schoolhouse in Huguenot, New York. We're in front of the uh, Huguenot schoolhouse. It is a brick building, soft brick clay made from local clay uh, near the Neversink River. You can see that in the top there's a diamond which states the year it was built, Huguenot, A.D. 1863. And it is also the town historian's office and the Deer Park Museum. The building is also on the National Register of Historic Places. The school was uh, a schoolhouse from 1863 to 1961 when the Port Jervis School District was consolidated into a centralized school system. It was put on the National Register in 1997. All right, in 1863, there was one teacher. There was, the school had grades eight, eight grades, one through eight. Uh, the, there were few books in those days, and there are eight blackboards in this building and the teacher would come in early in the morning and she would put the lessons on the blackboard for each of the eight grades. And the uh, ch children that came here, some were from the uh, D&H Canal. Uh, they were the tow boys, tow girls, and the families that lived on the canal, as well as the farming children. And at that time, making a living was a very important thing and they needed the kids to do the work so that it was not as it is today where the children come from September until June. Whenever the work was done, the children came to school. When the uh, canal froze over and the people settled down and put their boats into storage, the children came to school. And when the harvest was in, then the children would come to school. And sometimes there were 30 here, sometimes there were more, sometimes there were less. It was hard to judge. The school was used until 1961, after which it was returned to the town of Deer Park. And the fire company used the school as their social hall. And when they, after they built their building, their new building, and which they use today, the school was closed down and boarded up until 1996, at which time the renovation began for making the school ready for the town's bicentennial, which would be held in 1998. At that time, the town of Deer Park would have been 200 years old, and in order to celebrate, the town board approved the renovation of the school building. When the schoolhouse was finished, it was used as an office. There were still a few things that had to be done to complete it to where it is today. And in 2001, we had an open house where a lot of people came to see it, many of them former students. And that was in 2001. One of the things that was donated is this 19, uh, 1863 organ, which still works. And in the back, there's a big plate on it, and which tells where it was built and when. During the open house, when there were lots of people here and having cookies and enjoying the, the refreshments and telling stories, all of a sudden we heard some music, and we looked, and there was Ross Decker, who was the uh, mayor of Port Jervis at that time and had been a student here, was playing the organ and we realized that it was still working. Up to that point, we never had anyone who knew how to play it. And it was a wonderful uh, musical ending to a lovely day.